think it's a mix of passion and competition. You know, I love the way Matt competes. When he has a goal, he's got the fortitude to go out and get it. The drive, you know, it's, it's really special to watch someone with a lot of drive. You know, I worked out at the Augusta National a little bit, so he, he started going to the Masters Tournament, uh, I think, five years old. My dad was a, was a big, big golfer growing up, when he was growing up, and uh, my cousin played college golf. Yeah, he's got an older brother that on Saturday morning would want to watch cartoons, and Matt would want to watch the Golf Channel, and they would fight about it. So I had to, we had to get two TVs so that Matt could watch the game. I mean, he's just always been passionate about it. I remember my first tournament more than anything. Played nine holes. I played nine holes at a place called Persimmon Hill in uh, Jackson. And I shot 78. Shot 78 on nine holes, thought I was, I was, the world was crashing down. I think he finished last and he was just, he was upset. And I remember crying in the parking lot. It was, it was a bad day. He came back, he said, Dad, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work harder. So, I mean, even from a little age, he, you know, he, he really had that passion to really work. I, I don't know, golf, golf's been my, just me. I, I, I love being out here. Uh, I, there's nothing I'd rather be doing right now than being out here. He just really wanted to get out there and play against the best competition he could play in. There's no tour that can prepare you for, for the Wyndham or college golf or anything more than AJGA can. Well, that's so. what we were talking about with the college coaches. You know, once they get a kid that's played in the AJGA Invitationals, that kid has been tested. You're kind of wondering yourself, is this guy going to make a bogey, you know? Then if he does have a 10-footer for par, he's going to drain it. I mean, he's just, he's a tough competitor, and uh, he's fun to play with, though. He's, I mean, he's, uh, he gets very competitive on the course, but off the course, I mean, he's a really good, nice guy. It was a privilege to be able to be on a team where Neesmith and Cody, they, them two were the greatest leaders that I could have asked for in the Wyndham Cup. He just would put your arm around you and just be like, you can do this, we can do this, and let's win this thing. And Plus, he played great himself. It was just awesome, and it was just positive energy back and forth, back and forth. He had his goals set. What he wanted to accomplish, and, and, yeah. And being able to go out there and, and accomplish them, it just... But then the company that he oh, will yeah. be in, too. When you look at the names as Tiger and Hunter Mahan and, and all these great players that have won this award, and I'm just like, wow. I mean, I, I never saw it coming. Player of the Year is it, it more than just being about the accomplishments yeah, you make on the golf course. I think it's about how you, how you handle yourself on the golf course. My dad's always been there. I couldn't thank him enough for what he's done for me and, and the person that he's made me, and especially my mom in the same way. They've taught me that if, I, if I'm myself all the time and I, I try to do the best I can every day, then, then I'm, I'm going to be the best person that I can be. You know, I'm starting to choke up here a little <laughs> bit, but uh, he, uh, he's, he's really been an inspiration to me, and when you can say that about your kid, I think that speaks yeah, volumes. that's pretty cool. It chokes me up, honestly. I'm, I get it from my dad. He's emotional. I'm emotional. I don't know how I'm going to do this player of the year speech, honestly. It's going to be, it's going to be a show. He's deserved it. He's, he's competed in the right way. He went out and did it the right way.